and welcome to our haul video. Haul video. Woo! Oh, they actually spray. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> so we just came back from probably one of the best girl trips I've ever had. That was so Definitely much fun. My best girl trip, first ever girl trip. Oh well, I'm glad you had a good one. That was yes. a lot of fun. I was I was telling them on the channel a couple of times. I've never had that many belly laughs. I think in one thing, like laughing to tears, that happened quite frequently. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for that. It was a great time. You also have Kelsey to thank. I do have Kelsey. She's not here because she does not live here. Sad face, not. but we miss her. We'll see you soon. <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to show you all the crap we bought. Yay! <laughs> do you want to go first? Do you want me to go sure. first? Or we um, can go back and forth? Yeah, or? let's go back and forth. Okay, okay, so I guess let's go with the first thing I bought, which was... Chronological. Love it. Chronological, if I can remember the order that I bought it in. So the first thing that I purchased <laughs> was a lanyard. We, uh, as you saw, have seen already, uh, we attempted to go to Target and find lanyards, <laughs> but we were unsuccessful. So I'm pretty happy Very. with uh, this purchase anyway. Kelsey got one that is the exact same. Um, and it, it came with a little plastic flap to yeah. just like stick your ticket in. So I still have the ticket in there as well. And uh, yeah. It looks like a tie and it's awesome. It, yeah, it looks like it. The, the ties. It's cute. <laughs> Well, I guess I will uh, go next and say I also bought one. I got talked into this by Kelsey while you were in the bathroom. She was like, you deserve it. You need it. And you I was do like, deserve it. I do deserve it and I do need it. I actually brought my own lanyard, but this was great. And it was, I was actually very concerned that they didn't come with the little pouches, but they do. So if you don't know that, now you do. Yes. And you're welcome. They do come with the little pouches. Because I was like, how do they, how do you clip your ticket to it? And they were like, oh, we have a little pouch too. Or you told me that. They're like, yeah. they have them behind the counter. And I was like, oh, well, now I just feel so, dumb. And what's great about the ones that come with uh, the lanyards that you purchase is unlike Lauren's, this one has like a little zip on the top. Mm -hmm. So you can just like slide it open. Yeah. And I also kept like my ID and my credit cards mm -hmm. in here as well. So that I way didn't we didn't have to carry around a wallet. We carried around one wallet, yours, I think. Yeah, we carried around my wallet. One wallet. That's all we needed. <laughs> that was enough. I will see. I had my annual pass though, so I couldn't put anything on the other side because I wanted them to know I was an annual pass holder. So I'd have that part facing. And then the other part was the scanned part. Yes. But in theory, it's a good idea. In theory, it's a good idea. <laughs> so that's what I did. And unless you're an annual pass holder and you really want to show off. Hey, it's so they know you get free slash cheaper stuff. Sure. <laughs> Let me have it, Gretchen. You're welcome. You can have it. All right, the next thing I'm going to show was free, and I kind of kept this and stole this. I'll put a little zoomed in shot of it, but it's basically just a Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It looks like a little ticket stub, and I, I think if we're remembering correctly, it's how we were to remember our locker number. Yeah. So I'm actually really pleased with how they did this during the whole COVID situation. So you had to wait in line, and then they told you which section of the lockers to go to, and there was no one else around you most of the time. Yeah, I most think of the time. almost 100 percent of the time there was no one around. It us. was pretty crowded, I think, just in like the Harry Potter areas. Right. But right. Other than that, they were really good about it. It. And then when you went to pick your stuff up, you had to wait in line again, which sounds kind of annoying, but it was I, I actually kind of like that better. That way it's not like people just swarming all around trying to get to your locker. And then yeah. you tell them, hey, I'm in locker three. I need to go to that one. And then they wait for your area to clear and then go up. So I thought that was a great improvement. Mm -hmm. Personally, I liked that a lot better than the normal locker situation. I mean, you do hate the normal locker situation. I very much do. <laughs> and I bring it up at any time that's possible. Like okay. now. Like now. Um, okay, <laughs> so I guess next purchase if I can remember chronologically. Um, I told myself that I was going to purchase an interactive wand, and I did. Yay! So, um, what's interesting about the wands is you can uh, pick your whichever wand you want, um, but those aren't going to be the interactive ones. The interactive ones are the character wands, and I have always thought, like, Hermione just has the prettiest wand. It's got, like, all of the, the vines up and down it and then it comes in this really nice like velveteen lined box and you get a map of Diagon Alley and um, Hogsmeade and it's got it shows you where all of the spell locations are and um, all of the wand maneuvers to do the spells. Oh it shows you the maneuvers on there too? Yeah. Oh I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I thought you just had to look at the ground. Well you can look at the ground yeah. but they're oh. also they're well, that's also nifty. On the map. Oh, and it says Diagon Alley. It How says cute. Diagon Alley on one side, Hogsmeade on the other side. If you can see that, it's I know cute. it's kind of bright. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but 
yeah, so it's in this really nice oh. little box. I do like the box. It doesn't say, the box doesn't say anything. Um, and you can pay like an extra dollar for the Ollivander's bag. Mine's pretty beat up, but uh, I did pay the extra dollar for the bag. It went through a lot. It went through a lot, and also it had handles. It was either like hold the wand box yeah, or like yeah. have a bag You're with paying a for convenience there for a little bit to hold the handles. And I mean, <laughs> I'm not above paying for convenience. Oh I mean, no, that's why absolutely Starbucks not. Is a thing. That is exactly why Starbucks is a thing. But that's a topic for another day. <laughs> okay. I like to keep random things. This is the lid off of my pumpkin tree. <laughs> Did you know I kept this? No. <laughs> I'll put a picture in, but this is the lid off the pumpkin juice bottle that you got. I just think it's cute. And I'm not gonna take a bottle all the way home, so I kept the is lid. It, is it gonna go on your mantle? Probably. <gasps> oh my gosh, because it's Halloween. Yeah, it is Halloween. It's You're October. You're so smart. I know. I'm hanging out with you. So I can put it on my <laughs> mantle or my head. I mean. Stick it on a little headband. If you really <gasps> See, to. you could get even cuter with it. But yeah, it's really cute. And it obviously was the lid, but the lid was attached, and I just removed it. But there's no glue or anything there, so I think I honestly, it kind of seems like they marketed it that way. <gasps> you don't see. Probably. Is saying. that why the pumpkin juice was seven dollars? <laughs> I mean, it was really expensive. The butterbeer wasn't that much cheaper. Honestly, that's true. I don't remember how much the butterbeer was like six or seven dollars. Yeah, I think. probably. And it didn't even come in a cute little bottle. It did not come in a little cap. Bottle. Now I have a pumpkin hat, so that's exciting. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm so thrilled that those are the things that you are considering. Listen, I'm a cheap date, okay? <laughs> I love it. Are you a cheap date? That was a $7 drink. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> she's, maybe not. She's, she's an expensive date. Uh, okay. You would know. I would. I've known you quite a long time. I think this is God, the next thing. Things that I got, so oh, I- Oh, I love this one. I had to have my little school headband. Um, it's really cute, I like that one. It is really cute, yeah. So it's really nice and thick, it's pretty sturdy. Um, it says Wizarding World of Harry Potter on the inside. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it's just like the tie, um, and it's the actual uh, school robe colors. Um, so it's more of like this golden color instead yeah. of like just a- It matches the robes that they just, sell. Just like a regular yellow, yeah. It does match the robes, and um, they also have like ties and cardigans and- Real ties, not like Yeah, real ties <laughs> um, that are the correct color and cardigans. I am kicking myself for not buying a cardigan. I thought about it so hard, and then as soon as we left the park, I was like, you know what, I do I do want yeah. a cardigan, but they only sell them in the parks, and it had it was our last day, and we yeah. had already left, and the park it was, was closed. closed. Otherwise, so, we would have ran back in there, but yeah, they- it's fine. They were closed. It's fine. No, just next time. Next time. We'll have to go again. We'll have to go again. See? You always have to go back. See? See That's there's the a reason, reason to go back. It's the magic, Gretchen. The All actual right. most magical <laughs> place on Earth. <laughs> because it's the literal wizards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, the next two things I got, I'm going to have to put in a zoomed-in shot. But I got a little pin, and I freaking love this thing. I saw it, and I grabbed it, and I had to get it. And they're a lot cheaper than Disney World pins. This is only $8. So it's all the classic attractions like Confrontation and E.T., which is still there, and then Back to the Future and Frankenstein and Jaws. This is my favorite logo. They have a ton of merchandise like this right now, and I just, I don't know, I'm trying to start collecting pins, so I just thought I'd grab one. So I did, and I'm very happy and pleased about it. But I also collect magnets. <laughs> and mugs and everything else. And this is why my husband gets mad at me. Um, but the magnet is really cool. So this was in the horror, I almost said horror makeup shop. That's not a thing. It was in the horror, Halloween Horror Nights tribute store. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty, I think it was inexpensive too. I think it was like $8, but it says Universal Studios Bright Nights 1991, which is the year I was born. Same. So that was really cool. It's like, I have to get this, even though obviously I was not there. That's okay, but it was really cute. Cute, creepy, creepy cute. So I like this. She's judging me. So. I'm not judging you. It's fine. Um, let me see. What was the next thing? Next purchase? Are you oh, still trying to go in order? Uh, I think I've probably messed up at least one oh, thing. Oh no. So, um, Retake. I'm just kidding. Great. <laughs> Um, so to go off of the uh, Harry Potter theme so far of all of my purchases, <clears throat> I did get myself a classic Jurassic Park shirt. I wore this on our very last day in the park and I wore it to dinner when we went to Cowfish. Uh, footage to be shown in one of the vlogs. I'm yeah. not sure. That, that's obviously probably the last one. Duh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it's really soft and comfy. I haven't left price tags on any of my things because um, I like to wear them and use them. Yeah, this was filmed so, quite <laughs> a while after we got back, yeah, so it's, it's been, fair. Oh, it's been almost a month. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's really it's really soft. It's really comfy. I think they're pre-shrunk because uh, I didn't notice the size changing after oh, that's I nice. washed it. Um, but the tag did come out. Oh really? Yeah. I, oh. Didn't, I didn't take it out. It just like 
<laughs> it came out on its own accord. I'm not upset about it. I'm just saying, if you would be upset about it, just keep an eye on the tag when you wash it. But yeah, it's really soft, it's really comfy, and it's just got these... It's uh, got the ring, yeah. Yeah, it's got the ring on the collar like and that. the sleeves, and I think that style choice is really, really cute. And I love yeah. gray shirts in general, because... And it wasn't funky blue camo, right? It wasn't fun... <laughs> I we wanted a spirit jersey. <laughs> I wanted a Jurassic Park spirit jersey so bad, but the only ones were in camo, and I don't need camo. Why are they in camo though? It was so weird. So the Jurassic Park ones were like camo camo, right? And then the Jurassic World ones were like blue camo, and I was like, why are they all camo? I don't understand. I would have bought it if it was a solid. I probably would have yeah, bought it. Yeah, if it was, it was a, a solid, solid color. I love spirit jerseys. Yeah. My Monsters University spirit jersey is no. my favorite piece of clothing that I, I own. do like that one. That's a good one. So anyway, it's fine. Universal. What you need to you work, work on your spirit jerseys. Not everybody likes camo, okay? <laughs> and we're from Tennessee. Right? <laughs> uh, okay, while well, we're going off topic, I got a Disney shirt. Because <laughs> of course she did. <laughs> okay, but we went to Disney Springs and how could you pass this up? Oh yeah, we went to Coca-Cola. It's got Disney and Coca-Cola on my it. Which two favorite things. My two favorite things on the shirt. And then the back just says Walt Disney World Resort. <laughs> Resort, which is super cute. <laughs> and and you, I love it. Have you worn your shirt yet? I wore it every night we were down there. I slept in it. Oh, you slept? That's hysterical. <laughs> I wore it every single night. I was so excited. It's so soft though, touch. See? That oh, is a soft shirt. It is so it's soft. soft like my yeah. soft shirt. And it wasn't, I think it was only like $25. Like it was, I was like, ooh, $25 Disney yeah, shirt. Yeah, yeah. I was super excited about the price. I do remember that. Yeah, I walked in, I was like, oh my God. And do you remember the store clerk next to me said, Becky, look at her butt. <laughs> we were, I was dead that day. I, I was so tired and dead that, that day. And I was just like, ah. <laughs> don't you don't remember that? that? that no, was funny, but that's really funny. They had like a whole line of Disney Coke merch. Oh gee, I wonder why. Was it maybe because we were at Disney Springs? It's lovely and I love it. I mean, we were on a Universal trip and she bought Are you Disney shocked? merch. No, I'm not. Not I'm really. I'm not shocked at all. Um, what's next? Oh, my favorite. We <laughs> searched high and low oh, to find yes. these. Yes, they bought masks. And it kind of looks like a puppy dog. Right a side. little bit. like. I from, think it's a dog. The, the other side. side? <laughs> see? So like, can you see? Am I at the right yeah, angle? Yeah, you're at the right yeah, angle. So. <laughs> Um, Kelsey and I each bought a Hufflepuff mask, um, and mm -hmm. we spent a good portion of the day mm -hmm. looking for the Hufflepuff ones yep, because were there were lots of Gryffindor and Ravenclaw yep. available at like every kiosk mm -hmm. throughout the parks, and then we had to go like into Harry Potter yep. to find the specific Hufflepuff ones, and they do come in different sizes. Yeah, I, I was believe. not prepared for that. That's why I didn't buy one. <laughs> yeah, I don't so. know. I believe this one Did you get a is, medium? Yeah, this is a medium. Does it fit well? And it fits me pretty well. Um, so I'm nice. I'm a I'm a petite lady head, I guess. I mean my glasses, I have to have the shorter like Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I got you. ear bits. Yeah. I don't know if they have a nail or not. I have to have the shorter ear bits because I have a smaller head. So yeah. the medium works pretty well for me. Um, and then I guess if you're a larger person, if you've got a big dome, if you're really smart, get a um, big dome. Get a large. Well, yeah, so they only had large Gryffindor ones, and I was like, I don't know about a large. I don't know if that could work, so I get one. But I will tell you, those, those masks went up $2. They're $8 now, so you you saved a buck or two. Two, two actual bucks. Literally. Literally. Two, two actual bucks. <laughs> oh, Lord. We'll okay. be here all night, folks. All night. <laughs> Not really. You gotta go home. Yeah. You can't stay here. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I got another shirt. This one appropriate to the occasion. So I saw these shirts actually oh, all around the park. Cool. Yeah, and I was like, eh, that's too predictable for a universal shirt. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was like, eh, it's too simple. And then on the last day when you were looking for your sweater, I snuck away and bought this. And I picked a purple one because I don't think I have any purple shirts. I don't think you do either. If you own blue. Blues, I like blue, blue things. So I got this purple one and I really like it. And it says Universal Studios Florida, which I love. And yeah, that's all I have to say. I've worn this a lot too. I had to wash it for this occasion. So it's also a very comfortable shirt. And this was really cheap. This is only 20 bucks. Yeah, that you were- 20 bucks shirt. I think in general, very surprised by the pricing of a lot of the it shirts. It made me buy a lot. <laughs> well, I only bought two. When in so Rome. I guess that's a lot. Right. When in Rome. Or not when in Universal. Anyway. it's so catchy. Um, so my last purchase, um, I haven't eaten this yet. I have waited almost a month because I wanted <laughs> for you. to put this in the haul video, but it is a collectible chocolate frog. Um, 
box with the chocolate frog still inside. It's yep. still even got like the plastic. You know, I'm gonna take this off right now. Take it off. Cause I mean, here we are. Here we are. But I also bought one, so I'm glad she brought this because I gave mine away. Mine went to Bridget and Vinsel because they got married. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. I gave this to them because she said, I want you to get me a chocolate frog. And I was like, perfect. That's your wedding present. And I think she was really shocked when I gave it to her. She's like, oh, you actually brought me this. And I was like, yeah, that came from Florida. You better enjoy it. I and mean, she did. Why great. not? I just want to like look at it. I haven't even yeah, looked at it. Yeah, they have cards in there. The wizard cards. So. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this thing is massive. It is. It is large. It smells like Easter chocolate. That yeah, that's what we were saying. Easter it smells chocolate. like Easter chocolate, and we chocolate. think it's not hollow. I got Hengist of Woodcroft. Who that? This guy. I'm not sure how well you. Oh, can there you see. go. Yeah, there we go. So it says, driven away from his home by Muggle persecutors. Hengist is supposed to have settled in Scotland where he founded the village of Hogsmeade. Aww. Aww. The Three and Broomsticks Inn is alleged to be his old home. <gasps> so yeah, this is really cool. I didn't know. That is really cool. The, ho the holographic is neat. He's, he's a redhead. He has a redhead. He's, he, look, he's got his uh pattern. Whatever you call it, like, the, yeah. So, like, if you're in a certain clan, you have. Oh, a certain I see what you're saying. Um, I didn't know what you're trying to say. Yes. I don't remember what they're called. I don't know what they're really called sorry. either. Um, if you know, comment. Like, what's it? What's it called? What's Is it, it called? on their kilts too? Yeah, like, their kilts and their sashes. What's their pattern? Scotland. It's it's a, there's a name for it's it. It's called a something like a coat of arms, but like yeah, not but it's a like your fam it's your family pattern. Your so, family um, pattern. My family pattern would be flannel. My pattern. Yeah. Yes. It'd be flannel. Are we in the same family? I'm wearing yes. flannel. And we're blonde. Clearly we're sisters. <laughs> Mine's a little... <laughs> Mine's had a little help. I had a little help. What a great way to put that. I'm, 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 helping, my, I'm helping my blonde along. Yeah. Okay, my last thing is my treasured possession. <gasps> a mug! Of and I'm so it's excited. Mug. It's that retro theme I was telling you about. It's got E.T. on it, which E.T. was my favorite ride, by the way. I told Tyler we're going to ride it like eight times. And it's got all the good stuff on the back. It's and really I cute. I had to wash it again for this purpose because I've been using this literally every day since we got back. I freaking love mugs and oh, the price is gone because I've been washing it so much. I don't think it was expensive. I'm going to say 12 to $13, which is pretty standard for a theme park mug. I think you're right. I think that's pricey for a normal mug, but for a theme park mug, I think I've just gotten it. used to it. <laughs> And I love them. And it's got a good handle. You always gotta think about handles with mugs. It's not one of those crazy jacked up pointy things. And it's got a good mouth. What kind of mugs have you been Have holding? you seen the Disney mugs? No. They shake them like absolutely everything. And it's not always a good thing, Gretchen. Like There's a little goblet you've got there? No. She's talking about this that I got from Disney on Ice because I'm a child. <laughs> That's from Disney on Ice? Yes, a snow cone came in it. Oh, a snow cone came in it. I went to that with Tyler, and we've only been together for four years, so very recent. But yeah. No, they have like a Moana one, and it's supposed to be Maui's hook, and it's very mm. oddly shaped, and it's not fun to hold. You gotta okay. find a good mug that's fun to hold. So a regular mug. Exactly. Good job, Universal, on your regular mug game. And great. Too enthusiastic. Thumbs up. Yes, I agree. All the thumbs. And thank you for moderately pricing your apparel. Really yes. appreciate that. Yes, we do appreciate that a lot. Is that all um, you got? That's all I've got. Okay. Um, Kelsey bought a set of uh, Hufflepuff robes, I'm sure, as you saw in the, I'll reinsert the, the, the little trailer. It's quite worth it. She was really <laughs> excited about them. And then I also purchased a set of robes, but I did purchase those for a friend, and those have now been passed off to uh, said yes. friend. So, um, I don't have any ropes for myself. I thought about it for a second. I do I, really wish I'd gotten that card again. I know. I've been kicking myself about the ropes too because the clerk told us in the store that they're actually the same ones that the extras wore. Not the same ones, but they're made from the same manufacturer that the mm -hmm. extras wore in the movie. They're That's really, cool. They're really heavy. Like they're a really yeah. good quality. And um, I had mine that I bought for my friend folded up ever since we got home. Mm -hmm. And like they don't really wrinkle very much. Nice. Like it's That's not a super wrinkly material. Awesome. Um, and then all of the um, the cardigans and ties and stuff like that is yeah. imported directly from Scotland. So that's true. It's yeah. like actual wool. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, which she tried on in the heat of Florida. That's dedication, my friend. I felt kind of bad for putting it on because I was very sweaty. No, I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. 
right. You have clothes on. It's not like you just. My clothes. Have you been to Florida when it's hot? No. <laughs> just kidding. I'm sure it's fine. I'm just I'm appreciating and applauding your dedication to the cardigan. Okay. I'm just saying. I thought really hard about it. Yeah. Next time. Decision. Next time. We are full of regrets, but we're also full of joy. And that's cheesy as hell. But thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you for watching our little haul video. Tyler yeah. always makes fun of me for haul videos because he's like, why do you watch people buy stuff? And I'm like, because I can't buy it myself. So you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> and if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe so you can hit the little notification bell. I don't know why I started doing this, but I do this now. It's like the pinchers. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. And we will see you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>